Hey everyone, Comics for Thomas here. I'm doing a haul video and year end review. So I'm going to try to get two videos done today. So this is the first of the two. Um, I'm in my bedroom. Uh, again, this is the only time I recorded, the second time I recorded in here. Uh, we got a major snowstorm today. So in my apartment, literally my, my front door where my living room is, um, it's a busy, busy street, and I can hear literally hear people struggling to get. There's a little, a little bit of a slant, and the people are struggling to get up my road right now. I couldn't even park in my back driveway, so um, it's quite the quite the storm. I already saw one accident on the today too. It was minor, but still, um, I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna record some videos. So, and I've been meaning to do this anyways because we're now January second, and uh, I haven't done them. I'm gonna do. Uh, like I mentioned, a haul and a little bit of a year in review, and then when I'm done this. Um, I'm going to do my 2021 want list, um, so that should be pretty fun. So I'm not going to waste much time. I'm going to show you some pickups over the last three or four weeks, um, maybe a month or whatever. I don't know when I put my last video out. Some of these are just pull list books, um, and some of them have just been random pickups that I've gotten. So I don't know if I showed this in my last video. So this is the Spawn 312. This is the um, the local comic shop day. The retailer book so and the reason why I bought this one I don't know if you'll be able to really see it very well I can't even remember where they're at anyways my LCS is on here it's Heroes Beacon but there's like a lot like there's like a million shops on here and I can never and there's like a Heroes Haven so I can never exactly remember where it's at now there's a bunch of heroes which makes sense because it's comics but anyway very very cool I was actually thinking about getting this graded um, and then giving it to them uh, just kind of as a thank you, because they've been really, they've been really, really good to me. Uh, a couple great guys that run that shop. So um, we've got Canto Two, The Hollow Man, issue number four. Um, we only find them when they're dead, issue number four. I have not read this yet. I've only read the first issue, but I got all four. Super happy this is back, but it's also ending pretty much right away. This is Seven to Eternity. Issue number 15. I'm holding them like this to try to get the, the reflection so that you can see better. Um, they basically say at the end of the last issue, um, the, the writer, Rick Remender, basically says, like, we're back, but we're back for, like, four or five issues, and then we're, we're going to end this properly. So, um, X-Men issue number 16. I have stopped reading this. Um, not that I didn't enjoy it. I just, I don't know. Um, I might continue to read it, but... I have cut it from my pull list as of today, so I'll probably get one more issue because um, obviously you gotta buy what they kept coming in for you. So um, I love Linnell Yu. Uh, the art has been great and the story has been good. Uh, Jonathan Hickman, from what I've read, um, but I don't know. There's something that's not catching me enough to pay for it every week. I will read it on Marvel Unlimited. So uh, future DC Future State. This is the the free the free book. Lasso told me to grab it, so I grabbed it. <coughs> Sorry. Um, this is, I just bought this for the cover. I've never actually read this. This is Peter Cannon Thunderbolt number one. Very cool cover. There's some cool covers in that run. I've, I've taken a look at CLZ. Um, Avengers, this is actually the, I believe this is the Hickman run as well. Uh, this is 34.2. It's a variant. I've always kind of wanted to get my hands on that and the other variant that I'm going to show you. From that run, and this is also, or no, that sorry, that's the regular cover, which looks like a variant. It's really, really nice. And here's the variant. I love it. Thirty-four point two variants. Look at that. That was an awesome slab too. Sorry, it will look awesome slab because I'm pretty much going to slab everything I can get my hands on. Uh, we have Infinity issue number nine. This is the first Black Order. Finally got my hands on that. And some Frizen. Uh, we've got, but basically, I'm I'm just getting into a huge Frizen phase right now. And I'm grabbing a bunch of the Wonder Woman um, that she did. Uh, but I'm not grabbing them all because I actually don't like them all. Um, but I like a lot of them. Um, issue 42. This one is like double nice for me. I'm going to hold them aside actually because I love castles. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Issue 41. It's nice. It's not at the top of my list on that one. Uh, 37 though. Yeah, it was a. She's so freaking good. Do I've got a Captain Marvel one? 
I think this is from 2015, maybe. I actually have a second one coming uh, from an auction. I got it really, really cheap. Um, just hasn't arrived yet. It's, it's you know, Christmas shop or Christmas shipping. Um, issue, so I've always kind of wanted to, I've always been interested at, at some point in putting together the Warlock run, uh, volume one. There's 15 issues, and um, I have issue number 15 because of Comic Books NYC. Um, I have one, you'll see it here because I'm going to show a little bit of the AOKs as well, um, but I won his 800 subscriber. I was one of the winners in the 800 subscriber um, contest for him, and uh, he kind of made an AOK out of it as well. So going to take a drink. And uh, he gave me issue 15. Actually, I'll just show you it now. I was just going to show you like one or two highlights of some of the two AOKs that I got. Beautiful book. Um, this is the first Gamora on cover. First time she's on a cover. And uh, I didn't realize that there was only 15 issues. I thought there was more. So I had, and when I went to log in to CLZ, I was like, oh, this is something I could probably put together. I mean, there's not a lot of super keys in it as well. So it'd be pretty cheap to put it together. Um, so that's kind of the plan. So instead of waiting, I just started chipping away at it. So here's issue number nine. And issue number 14. So that's pretty awesome. I feel like I might have one more issue coming, but I could go wrong. Oh, my cats are freaking out. Um, put uh, slowly chipping away at my Silver Surfer Volume 1. This is issue number 8. There is a bit of a tear here. There, it's, there's nothing missing. It's just when you know it was sold in the auction, I knew that there was a, a little bit of a tear here just on the cover. Um, that's fine, because I'm not going for super high grade. Um, I'm going for like... Well, my Silver Surfer 1 is 1 1.5, so I'm going between 1.5 and and whatever, right? So, obviously, some of the bigger books, I'm going to want to get them in a little bit better grade, because they, I mean, that Silver Surfer 4, um, from what I can tell, it doesn't really actually present well in low grade, where Silver Surfer 1 does, so, I don't know. Um, I am, I've just kind of started chipping away at, um, like, sub-100 of the, like the big Marvel uh runs and i'm talking about like the, the fillers of those runs now maybe minor 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 keys um and i don't mind as long as it present well i don't mind grade um my cat uh so and you'll see what i mean here um, this is avengers number 26 pick that up at my lcs um where is it it's got a tear here right on our chest um but the the page is still there i'm just gonna rub this area for a second that's where it's at so um yeah, I mean, like, there's look at the top of it and stuff. But I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool just to have, you know, whatever I can get because it doesn't matter if it's this grade right now. What's it, I mean, what's the value of this going to be in, like, 10, 15 years if I'm buying this for, like, I think I spent $6 on this. So, and I've got a I've got an Avengers 23, which is a really cool cover coming, too. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I haven't showed these books yet. I just got them back from my presser today. I basically had got them. And sent them to him because I am getting them. I'm going to send them away with uh, my next run of books to CBCS. Um, I actually have 10 books still waiting to come back. Um, they're probably on their way now. It's just, again, you know, the, the mail system is it's going to start slowing down a little bit again, getting back to normal. So hopefully I get those in the next couple of weeks. But when I go to meet the guy, because um, he's local, who sent them away, the authentic dealer, um, these two books are going in there. So my LCS was having a black friday sale um all the back issue books were a dollar each and i go in there and just sift through right and i've got this thing where i've gone through some of their because basically they have these wall books that they've priced out and then they have um you can literally hear my cat in the litter box awesome um this is why i don't do this in my room because it's in the washroom right back there anyways they have, they've got their wall books They've priced them, uh, and they're always priced to sell. But they've they've kind of they at least know like okay these are the keys, and then they've got these short boxes of books that wouldn't make the back wall but shouldn't be in this just in the in the cheaper back issue section. And then they've got these just back issues, and it's a lot of just modern back issues that didn't sell and so on. They say they they say it themselves. They don't necessarily keep an eye on everything that's hot in the market. Um, they just don't have the time to keep going through the back issue bids because they might have this, and it's not. It's organized, but like not like crazy organized. My kind of rule of thumb is because I have gone through some of their short boxes before, and they're like, "Hey guys, like, like this book here, like, you're you're burning yourself on, on this one uh, a little bit because they want like 
they'll have it in a box of like five dollar books and won't even have a price tag on it which means someone probably screwed up um and then but when it comes to the back issue bins it, i'm not i'm it's a free-for-all so um i had grabbed these it's the same book um i got them for a dollar each i thought it was the one because i didn't want to just pull up my phone and be like oh you know did i find it and then i came home and i was like okay it's the one um i had them pressed so right now i have about 12 dollars canadian uh invested in these two books and that is canon number six that's a find right there because these books are now super super hot um these are not nine eights um they were you know they you got in the back issue bins and they're just so you'll get the the odd corner and stuff like that um i'm gonna say though after the press they're probably nine sixes each and i'll spend another fifty dollars on having them graded um i pick them I, I i bring them local um and i so i don't have to ship them to the guy and it's just whatever the shipping is to their back but he's he ships them in bulk so um maybe there's five dollars extra so maybe i put another 55 dollars in these so i'm going to spend less than less than like 70 dollars on these two books and they're if you know what's going on in the market these are good books which is super convenient because i need to kind of get top dollar from them um, for their gpa because i've had a really good end of the year now we'll get into my end of the year review i've had a i, I did the first of the year of last year i guess started out really slow um you know my girlfriend and i uh broke up i got this place so kind of was focusing my money on furnishing my apartment and uh, you know, my, my new cat that's taking a dump in the other room and i kind of like, also kind of has seen this because him and i talk all the time um every day and uh he's kind of seen this where i was like okay well i really gotta slow down on comics for a bit to get myself settled in and then and then i would like have a little spurt of like oh i found these couple good ones for a good price and then it would slide down again and then the end of the year has been nuts nuts as in like most of my my want list from 2020 i i ended up getting 10 out of i had like 23 on the list i was just i'm just like wow just whatever these are the books that I want. Um, and I probably got the last five or six out of that 10 um, in the lot, like in the last three months of the year. Really, really good end of the year. But there's books I haven't even talked about or, or shown you that are, there is now one in transit. Um, I, I've kind of made these connections between, you know, doing the Facebook auctions and um, my LCS and um, my presser um, sells books. And there's a coins and collectible shop that I mentioned a couple of times um across the street from my lcs that it turns out everyone's willing to kind of hold books aside and let me do like small payment plans which helps with my budget because i'm very much about my comic budget it's not like i couldn't buy most of those books right now um but i'm very much like let's let's just this is my budget okay i can put a little here a little here a little here a little here and it's people i trust um and so i've got a i've got some awesome books already on the way so it's pretty crazy okay uh, quick year in review. Um, I'm going to show you maybe like 12 books real, real fast. I've already showed you this. This came, this was part of that comic books, NYC, um, winning, uh, the, the sub contest or whatever, but also part of the AOK. He gave me a really, really cool, um, Star Wars, J. Scott Campbell variant. Um, there was a Scotty Young Silver Surfer, um, variant that I, I liked a lot. So, um, I ended up winning a couple lenticular um batman uh maybe rebirth uh issues i don't collect dc um and i haven't really mentioned yet but i've actually sold those because those weren't it's like like those were part of my win so me selling those you're not even thinking about it like yeah i'm, I'm not going to keep those in my collection i'm going to sell them and use them towards something else and the book that i use them towards that's in transit right now he would actually love because he's a huge fan of that book so it's kind of cool how it worked out um but i also like you could AOK -okay me a bunch of books and I'm just, I'm not someone who needs to necessarily keep them if they're not going to fit my collection. Um, it's just he, and actually Lasso, because Lasso sent me uh, an AOK -okay too. They, they just sent the books that, that I don't want to sell because they are pretty awesome. And I don't want them for my collection. This is why I'm collecting this one. Um, I'm not going to go through everything that Lasso sent me, but this is one of the highlights. He knew I love this one. Oof. That will look a, look great graded as well. So and it's got the COA. So 357 of 600. So nice. Okay, quick drink. Um, 
these are just some basically the highlights of the books um, that I've picked up since the first of the year, um, right up until the end. So here we go. This is um, Marvel Spotlight, issue six. This is first Star Lord in Marvel. I have his first appearance in the um, in the magazine style. I have it a CGC 7.5. I'm a big Star Lord fan. I think it's awesome. Descender number one. I actually have two of these now. I'm going to get them both graded and sell one and keep one. Love that run. Seven to Eternity one. So this one and one of the other books I'm going to show you, um, I actually basically got the day that I was doing my 2020 want list uh, video recording because I did it so late. I did it like three weeks into January and I happened to just get these two books, you know, right at the first of the year. So um, this was awesome because I got it on eBay um, for the price for less than what it's going for currently. And it came with two number one variants as well, which are awesome too. Can't wait to have that graded as well. Um, and some of these books, I'm surprised that they kind of just f fell to me in the in just the right timing. Um, just, yeah. Like She-Hulk number one. Great price. Got it from a local guy. This was the book that started me off on. Uh, there's a, a local guy here that doesn't do. He does some of the Facebook groups. He doesn't do auctions and stuff like that. And he's trying to sell his books, most of his collection. And uh, I bought this for him for a really good price. And um, I've already had a press, so it's going to be going out. And uh, it kind of started our friendship way. We started talking comics a little bit. And I mentioned, like, you know, if you never need a hand with selling some of your books, I can, I can help you. And I've been in a buying you know at least seven or eight comics from him he gives me good price on them too which is really really nice he doesn't have to i've told him he doesn't have to but um he's also a nice fucking guy so anyways i'm kenny x-men 142 just love this cover um i actually hate uh hate's a hard, harsh word i do not enjoy um 141 that goes with this i'll probably never own it i don't like all the homages to it and i don't I don't know why there's something about it when I see it. I'm just like, I don't like that cover. Um, and I get it would go with it, but it's not going to happen. Thor 166. This was that the same guy. Um, he had this. We had it pressed. We were going to um, put it up for sale. And I just kind of mentioned, I was like, listen, you want to work something out? Um, I really want <laughs> this book. This is the second appearance of him. This guy. And uh, it's just, it's beauty. Star Wars 42, also bought it from a local, a, a guy that I've, I've dealt with a lot, actually, I would consider him a, him a friend, um, not just because of comics. So, and it's got a tear right down here, yeah, that's going to get graded because that was pressed. Transformers number one. This actually looks so much better after it was pressed, like just a bit of a crease here, um, right where the, like the laser lines are going or whatever across his face, but, um. He did a really good job pressing that out. I'm kind of going quick on these because you've seen them in videos if you've watched all my videos. Um, again, the, the same local guy that I was trying to help sell, um, we had this pressed and it, it wouldn't go. It wouldn't sell. Um, it's missing. I'll, I'll show you right away. It's ASM 238. It's got a tear here. It's not. It's it's where the staple's at, but the staple's intact. Um, and it doesn't have the tattoos. And we put it up in two groups. We put it up in um, maybe three or four auctions. And then finally, I was like, listen, let me do some type of payment plan with you. Um, because I wouldn't mind having this book. And I'm not a huge ASM fan um, or Spider-Man fan, but there are certain books that I would like to have. I don't mind that it doesn't have the tattoos. I don't care about the tattoos. And I don't mind what that does to it either. So it's a cool book. I like the purple in it. Uh, two books left. And then we're done. Uh, the, this book here has gotten away from me a couple times. I'm a huge fan of it, um, of this run. I'm collecting, I'm collecting all, it's all, almost like, um, like 72 attorney and stuff like that. I'm, I collect, I'm going to try to get every single 72 attorney, all the variants, you name it. I'm going to try to get it. Well, it's the same with this run. Um, my presser of all things, this book got away, away from me in an auction one time. I just wasn't, I went to sleep, forgot to check last minute, and someone sent it for a dollar on me. Was, you know, so that's how it goes. Um, so he posted the, he posted issue one and issue two first print. And uh, 
I messaged him right away because he said he says oh I've got you know I've got all the books if you're ever looking for anything. I, we just we talk pressing so much. I don't really think to send him like what I'm looking for. Um, and for what this is going for, just the single book, he had both books on. And I messaged him and said, hey, you want to put them aside for me? You and I, I know we'll work stuff out because, you know, between the pressings and stuff, he's kind of mentioned that before. So, yes. Canto number one. It's probably, it's, don't get me wrong, like there's been some awesome books that I've shown you in the next book. is amazing too. Um, this is probably the highlight for me because of just i've been it's one of those books that i'm constantly looking online to see if i can just get the right price at the right time uh, compared to everything else where i'll kind of like oh yeah let's see what i want on my want list stuff like that but this one is like constant the one that i have on its way to if i would have had it you know a couple months ago it probably would be one of the bigger ones too and then this is um when i was doing my 2020 want list um, this was on the list, but then I ended up getting it before I recorded the video last year. I was also sick at the time, I remember, too, because my that whole video, my voice is raspy. Not like now, where I'm just dry. Um, so, I mean, not much to be said here. Avengers 57, CBCS 2.0. Um, I am a CBCS guy now because the new cases are pretty awesome, and I can get them way cheaper than CGC. Um, but only modern books. So... This obviously is not considered modern because it's 1968, but this, you can tell, has not been pressed or cleaned. So I'm going to crack this at some point. Um, and I'm going to have my local guy press and clean it. Uh, I might just have him clean it because I'm going to send it away to CGC. So the CGC authenticated dealer is in Ontario that I send to, and he presses books, but he doesn't clean. So my local guy will clean it because I don't. I don't want to press and clean it here, and then what if something happens? Then I just got to pay to get it pressed again, but I'll have it cleaned here. And he knows that. He says, you know, he knows anything that is older than 1975. My local guy's not going to see because I can't get them graded with CBCS, so they're going to go to CGC. Um, but he's done a really, really good job giving them a, a nice, nice clean. I think that a press and a clean, I, I think I get a full, full bump. Full bump for sure. There's a spiral going on, um, and it's just it's it's dirty. So, and there just looks like there's pressable defects here. Some of them no, but like there's no major tears. You know, the corner doesn't look great, but I would love to get a full full point bump. So, so that's it. Um, it's been. It's been a crazy year for everybody, obviously, uh, but comic-wise, I've noticed kind of everybody's mentioning it. it's been really good for their collections. Um, we're just sitting, home, we're just sitting home basically and just buying comics. Um, pull lists are not, I don't think, as heavy as they were. Uh, maybe the changes when things uh, finally slow down, but like my pull list is now that X Men's off of there, it's not much. Um, might be four or five indie comics, like Lowe's on there, Kanto's on there. Uh, seven two eternity and like i mean they have expiry dates you know a lot faster than like a marvel web and stuff so um i appreciate i really do appreciate everybody who has been involved in um my channel because i do not put out a lot of videos um, especially living here in this tiny little apartment um you know i've got a bit of a goal for the year um that's outside of comics and it's to get a friggin' house um and when i do i'm gonna have a comic room and I'll probably be a little bit more active. Um, I'd like to start going live a lot more. I just don't have the time. And I don't, it really, even that living room, cars going by and stuff like that, it's just so noisy all the freaking time. So, um, so it, you know, hopefully it'll be a little different in 2021. Um, I appreciate the AOKs I, I've gotten. Um, I've made some, already some really great friendships uh, through the YouTube community. And I just sent out an AOK to Magic Lasso, so we're gonna go live once he gets it, and hopefully gets it soon. Um, I was really smart, and I, sent, and I mailed it like four days before Christmas, so I'm sure he'll get it in like March. So, we'll do it in March. Bye.